If you read the Omaha World Herald, you see Jeff Katerba's work every day. Well, this weekend, you have a chance to see it created right in front of your eyes. And maybe just for you, Jeff Katerba's comics and more at the center of a unique event at Gallery 72. Jeff is here along with John Rogers of Gallery 72 with your invitation. Good morning, gentlemen. Good, Good morning. morning. So this is fun. It's called Jeff Katerba Draws Live, right? With Yikes. live... Yep. Uh, drawings, sorry, my prompter went out here. So live drawings, custom watercolors, tell us about it. Yeah, well, you know, my, in my day job, I draw a, a new editorial cartoon every day. And with this current political climate, uh, you know, it gets a little stressful, a little tense. So I thought I would try something a little different at John's urging to do live drawings. But I'm not gonna be drawing live political cartoons. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be drawing happy, fun, dogs and cats. So, oh, I love it. so just that something so totally fun. different. So if you want a happy birthday drawing or happy anniversary drawing, that's happy that's what anniversary. I'm doing. Speaking of, do mm -hmm. you know who has an anniversary today? I think Kayla has an anniversary. Kayla, it's a true story. It yes. is Believe true. it or not, yes. I have been married 10 years today. So well, clearly I was married when I was 15 years old. In so <laughs> what are you well, working on for Well, us in today? fact, I finding out that it was that it is your 10th anniversary today, I am going to be drawing uh, attempting to draw 10 dogs. Ooh. Wishing you happy anniversary because yes. a little bird told me that you were a dog person. So I'm a passionate centrist politically, and I also love dogs and cats. So I'm equal opportunity. But some people prefer dogs, some people cats, some people both. So now you're drawing this, and then you're using the watercolors on top of it. Yes. To add the color in. Uh, yes, that's the that's the plan. Now for a drawing like this, approximately, I mean, I know they're all different, but approximately, how long does it take to develop something like this? So uh, a drawing like this, uh, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping I'll have this done by the end of the show, but uh, 15, 20, 25 minutes or so. Uh, my my editorial cartoon usually takes uh, the actual drawing will take. Uh, around three hours uh, or so, but that's after having done a lot of reading and studying mm -hmm. and sketching and looking for ideas. Jim, we want to get to you in a second, but I have one more question since yes. we're on the subject of the editorial cartoon. Yes. How long does it take you to come up with your ideas? And do you ever get writer's block or drawer's block, Drawer's so block, speak? yeah. Uh, well, it takes as long as you know I have, <laughs> and then I somehow have to come up with an idea. But yeah, uh, usually you know I start my morning uh, you know around six o'clock and I start consuming news mm -hmm. and it, it takes me sometimes will take me up until about lunchtime to have a solid idea and again uh, these days because of everything that's going on it would be easy for me to fall back and draw uh, you know a cartoon say on Trump every day and there are cartoonists who do that uh, so I'm always looking for other topics and I do uh, a fair amount of state and local cartoons. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture yeah. of, of a variety of different topics. Uh -huh. Well, John, let's get yeah. to the event. Tell us about this. Where did you get this idea from to join Gallery 72 with Jeff and tell us about it. We've been working with Jeff for three years now. We had a show of his work about three years ago and was excited then and we've just continued to work together. So we work we sell as cartoons so if you want mm -hmm. one of his political cartoons we will be happy to provide it for you and, and uh, so he wanted to do a show and I said let's add the live component to that let's put that in there. My life we'll, isn't tough enough. <laughs> 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 well we're giving you a nice little opportunity no, today to test your skills. That's yeah, right I know I know. Is this pressure? Is this no. Pressure? And we're hovered over you no, watching no. right now and the timer's <laughs> We have a mirror <laughs> positioned yeah. over your drawing. Right, right. No worries no worries. And part of it is just the fun of seeing Jeff draw and work. Mm -hmm. and, and not doing political cards, doing fun things, you know, anniversaries, get well cards, anything like that. So he'll draw anything but a caricature. Right, so you're not going to come in and you're not going to sit down on a stool and say, Jeff, okay, draw me now, you these know. are more... Yeah, I'm, I'm not like those people who sit on the street corner and do that. I, it's great what they do, but I like to spend a lot of time with a, a, a caricature. If I'm drawing a new politician, I'll study several photos of them and it will take sometimes hour to get, hours to get it to get it just right. But I also think it's exciting because, you know, there are a lot of cartoonists who just use uh, Photoshop and other software to draw, sure. which is fine, and I use those things as a tool, but I am still tactile, so I draw with pens and pencils and brushes. And He's one of the few Lynch editorial is. cartoonists that still produce a physical piece of paper. Which I, we appreciate. Exciting. I think everybody appreciates that, you yeah. know, the, the real genuine art and talent mm -hmm. of that. So, uh, Jeff, 
people might actually know, I did not know this, that you actually create art under a different name. And it's PD, is it Sokal? Sokol, PD Sokol, Sokol which is a good South Omaha name. Yes, yes. Yeah. So tell us about PD, what's it, that all about? Yeah, I know, it's kind of a quirky story. A friend of mine, uh, Bill, who's from Omaha and lives in New York and has for a number of years, lives in the East Village. He and I came up with this goofy character, PD Sokol, and uh, he's a dog and he's a, uh, Actually, he's not goofy, he's pretty cool, but he himself is a cartoonist, so it's kind of this meta thing that's, yeah. that's going on here. So Bill would send me photos uh, from New York and from the East Village, and then I would turn them into these drawings by Petey, and we made an Instagram account. So Petey has his own account, and then I show those cartoons on my Instagram, inst Instagram account as well. But So I'm sort of channeling Petey when I'm drawing dogs and cats, because Petey only sees the world in terms of dogs and cats. Well, anyway, Petey has come back to Omaha, so now I'm showing him, uh, showing his characters on the Bob Carey Bridge or in the Old Market, and uh, so he's, yeah, he's back in Nebraska now, hanging and out. And they often oh, make okay. social comments and po yeah. polite comments. Yeah, not right. political of stuff, course. but yeah. yeah. Well, we want to show our viewers the information because they might be interested in coming out to this event, maybe having uh, Jeff do a drawing just Absolutely. for them, not a caricature, but one of these neat drawings kind of channeling this. So you can see all of these uh, pictures on display, but then you can also uh, have Jeff do something live for you. Now it's happening Friday and Saturday at Gallery 72. How much ballpark can people expect to pay if they want one of those the, custom uh, the drawings? The custom drawing, live drawings are $100 a piece. Uh, the editorial cartoons are $200 and there's two or three parts to that. So they receive the ink drawing, the pencil drawing and the uh, watercolor. And two special <coughs> offers we want to mention really quick. I love the, I'm a South Omaha girl myself, ah, so nice. I love PD Sokol and I love the Louis M's discount. Um, <laughs> you mentioned the morning blend and you get 10% off any Jeff Katerba artwork during the event itself, again, Friday and Saturday. And then, hey, if you want to stop by the gallery, just mention that too and he'll give you a 10% discount at Louis M's Burger Lust. Go get a burger. I have a few favorites on the menu myself. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we're going to have you stick around and we'll reveal this drawing mm -hmm. at the end of the show. Excited to see the final product. Thanks, okay. gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Well,